This is the only sermon in John Wesley's 53 Standard Sermons that was created by his brother, Charles Wesley. Our text for Charles Wesley's sermon, called Awake Thou That Sleepest, is found in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Sleeper, awake, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Who are the sleepers? The natural man is spiritually asleep and lives in utter darkness. Hell encircles her, but she does not know it. Ignorant of his condition, he is contented in his lost state. She may be easygoing or a strict religionist, having the form but without the power. They are whitewashed tombs who are spiritually dead to God. They have no spiritual discernment and often deny spiritual things altogether. In their unawakened state, they are children of the devil. Therefore, wake up and understand your condition. Cry out to be saved. You are in chains and you face execution, so arise quickly. Choose eternal happiness in Christ. Are you ready to die? Are you ready to be renewed? Do you love the Lord with your whole heart? Is the Holy Spirit in you, or do you deny the Holy Spirit? Does your religion lead to Christ dwelling in your heart? Do you see any need to change? Are you entering through the narrow gate? Have you put your faith in Jesus Christ? For good works will not save you. Follow and trust Jesus. Respond now. For Christ will give you light if you believe in him. He will come and dwell in your heart. And by faith you will receive the Holy Spirit as a gift from God. Your sins will be forgiven and you shall be justified and sanctified. Scripture attests that you will know it when it happens. For it is the Antichrist that denies the indwelling Holy Spirit. The truth is that feeling the Spirit within is essential. The Church of England teaches it, but the world denies it. Many have lost true religion, and even we in the Church have lost our saltiness. Thankfully, God has so far spared his wrath from us, but for how long? O oh God, have mercy on us. It is time for us to awaken. O oh God, revive us, and we will call on your name. Restore us and make your face shine upon us, that we may be saved.